I don't want to know my, what you call it, stand. I don't really care. I got about an inch of bird shit in here. I don't need cover scent because I smell like bird shit. I stink like bird shit. We're going to call this the bird shit stand. I hope we see a big buck out of the bird shit stand. It's November 11th. I'd like to start off by thanking all the men and women and all the forces and those that have passed out here. I'm in the box stand away about to leave a bit on private. Nothing special about this spot. It's just a good good spot to sit there and watch these oaks in the flat. God bless. We're not all foggy. My grandpa. We in what we call the middle stand. Last year I set up, before I put this ladder up in the spring, about 40 yards that way, off this ridge. I was trying to get my stuff set up before I could even get the gun up and my climber. I saw two deer walking on the ridge. Here's a clip from that hunt last year. I just saw a doe, what I believe is a buck, right behind it. season I found a rub line right there it was some old rubs from like historic rubs and stuff from a couple of years when I came scout it was all flooded it was full of water but this was a high spot like a ridge going through the water once I saw the rubs pretty obvious what was up the second deer came in the tail was kind of slightly up there's no way they smelled me so I'm assuming it was a buck on that little do. It's open and duck, I guess, cause uh sound like a war out there. So I finally get the gun up, get my camera stuff set up. Thought they'd come back, cause they go back and forth on this ridge. Nothing else passed. The weather was a lot different. It's hot right now, it's humid. Mosquitoes ain't so bad, but we got a front coming in this evening. I'm gonna sit here till about 10 o'clock.
Hey, look, guys, none of my camo matches. You ain't got to match camos. Look at me. I got some old ass shit. I got this. I like to wear this. I got my favorite hat. Ain't no fashion show out here. Stop being a girl. All these double ladder stands are comfortable. It beats a climber. Looks like the weatherman's wrong. It's starting to rain. Time to pick up the other camera. And he got some of his car alarm going off about 400 yards away, hunting the suburbs. Like, like people set their car alarm off on purpose during rifle season. That's what the hell it seems like. I don't know about y'all, but when the car alarm goes off, go turn it off. It's been going off for like two minutes. I'm a grunt in the rain. That always works. guys i'm out the stand i'm gonna mosey on back to the four let's we'll see if i could sneak up on a pig or something oh look at this shit it wasn't a tree branch the eagle dropped the bass shit Look at that, got some eagle claws on them. Oh, that's freaking awesome. <laughs> he brought me a fish. I'm going to fry this thing, man. Ain't that amazing? See, I didn't get the eagle on camera, but I got the fish on camera. Now I can't make this shit up. This is awesome. <laughs> amazing. Let me stalk my way out. I got to carry this fish out. I got a big drag. That's a good bass. <laughs> yeah. I'm rolling out the well. I'm bringing this. Ain't nobody gonna believe me. I'm bringing this with me. I got them loaded up. Fixing the head back and go show off my trophy. The fishing's so good on Toledo Bend. Even when you deer hunt, half a mile from the lake, you still catch fish. They just fall out of the sky. Y'all don't believe me. Just give it a try, man. It's loaded with bad sockele, everything. Catching fish in the woods. Pigs are tearing it up in there. It's one of our plots. And look what's right on the edge. Not only pigs. Oh, I just so happen to got a pee pee. All right, everybody, we got everything loaded up. We're gonna go back to the camp and fillet that fish and fry that with some oysters tonight. The eagle brought me a gift. Watch and learn. We're going to bring out some future fishing videos. Stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. All right. 
Alright, it's been a while. Good old eagle. Can't believe this. I mean, I have to fillet this. The claws might have some uh, bacteria, but fish got bacteria too. Ain't nothing a little hot oil can uh, fix, right? Deep fried. Let's go go with our oysters tonight. This ain't a fillet knife, but at the camp, you gotta improvise. <laughs> Get them pin bones out. I ain't fighting that. I choked on too many of those as a kid. I ain't doing it no more. What you think of that patula? You might be able to make a sandwich for yourself. You're not gonna split it with me? Oh, I don't know. You're gonna have to add some, some lettuce and cheese to that or something. Boy, I got some French bread. Oysters, we have oyster pull boys and some fried fish. There we go. Bop. So throw that in the ditch. And that's how you fillet a bass after the eagle drops one off to you. That's how we roll. Check y'all later. Man, I had to run my ass off to get in the stand. Freaking light thing. Open the wet. Hot to allow one hundred five hot. I guarantee you to be soaked in the wet. Waiting for this to slow down. 